I was um, playing around on YouTube the other day, and I found that you can put you can put surveys, mm -hmm. um, questions, right. and you can pose it to the people on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I just tried it out to see, and I put if if you could have your your house off the grid, would you? Yes, no, depending on the cost. Already do something like that. So I put sure. thing. So we're gonna try this today. Um, uh, see if people actually look, but it's going to be right up here on the screen, and it'll be a little dot. And if you click on that, it'll bring down a little survey pane, and it's going to say, "Which do you prefer, mm -hmm. Glock, Smith and Wesson, Springfield, or I'm a 1911 guy?" <laughs> it's going to be a difficult one to read. What do you carry? I carry a Glock. Yeah. Springfield. Yeah, and I got a Smith and Wesson. Mm -hmm. See? Well, uh, I like them all. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? Purpose. Each one has their pluses and minuses. Each, each one has their, their, their definite advantages. Um, hi, this is Todd Cotta, Doug, and Justin. This is King's Gun Center's uh, morning coffee sessions. We had a guy uh, on the YouTube channel a, a few, few weeks ago, and he's mad because the Army picked the 320 for their for their gun right and he goes I really wish they would have picked Glock mm -hmm. and the Glock fanboys are out there everything should be Glock and I and I get it and it's a great gun I do but my response to him was was, was very simple in the 80s and 90s the Glock was was the cutting edge the Glock was it the Glock was was, was where everybody was going but Glock fell into the same trap as General Motors and Ford in the 70s and 80s we have a good car, we don't need to improve it. You know, this is us, we are Chevrolet. We can do whatever we want. Mm -hmm. Then Honda comes along and kicks him in the knees. Well, that's what Glock did to Smith & Wesson, that's what Glock did to Springfield, that's what Glock did to every gun manufacturer in the, in the mid 80s when they came out with the, the Gen 1 Glock. Mm -hmm. Well, you fast forward now, it's 2017. Fundamentally, it's the exact same gun. It's perfect. <laughs> Well, the Gen 1 didn't have a rail, but yeah, now I mean, they do, and then the Gen but, 1 didn't have but, the back straps. But it's, it's, change, it's but more like slight, cha like changes, yeah, slight changes to the gun. Need. Slight okay. adjustments to get to perfection. Okay. Right, I mean, once you're there. Seen the ad, it's kind of right? like Ford. They went from the 7.3, and they wanted to make it better, so they went to the 6.0. And then they right? didn't. Why fix something that's not yeah. broke? Yeah, but the government made that happen, though. I know, because the, but, emission standards. But the point is, though, is why fix If it's True. working, it's working. But when you have Smith & Wesson M&Ps coming out, and when you have this 320 coming out. And when you have, what's that new one, uh, the CZ-10 but, but coming out? All these guns coming out and Glock's still hanging with in them. the top 10. I know. That's right. Without, know. You know, their guns. And the thing about Glock is because they've been the same for so long and not changed their gun, you can get any accessory. It's true. Oh, it's very true. I, I mean, and, and they're easy to work on. One any, of the easiest guns. Any sure. new holster that comes out, mm -hmm. the first, the first gun that's going to have it is for a Glock every time. Yep, uh -huh. that is so true. And I'm not saying Glock is a bad gun. What I'm saying is, is if you keep making the same thing for 30 years, people are going to figure out a way to enhance it and make it and make it better. Um, so I don't know. Uh, the, Everybody else is coming out with some great guns. Uh, I haven't seen the new, is it the CZ-10 or something? Or, or uh, the, he, He'd mentioned it on there. Yeah, it, he, he actually called it the new Glock from CZ, the way Glock should be. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and uh, you know, I, there's a lot of fanboys for a lot of different gun manufacturers out there. Yeah. And I look at my safe and I go, wow, I got Springfield. I've got Smith & Wesson, Smith & Wesson, Smith & Wesson. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Gosh, I, I, I've owned one, two, three, three Glocks in the past. Mm -hmm. I don't own any right now. I think it's like Ford, Chevy, Dodge. You're mm -hmm. going to find somebody who loves one and mm -hmm. somebody who hates the other and just what it is. You know, what feels good in your hand, too. Yeah, so it. the survey is going to be right up here. You see a little white dot with a little thing on it. Let us know which one is your preference in the, in the big three. And don't be making comments like, well, what, why isn't... Uh, Keltec in there or oh, you'll, something like you'll that. Get some of that. Uh, this I could make the survey, you know, the whole page long, I guess. But we're gonna make it simple. Uh, if you uh, if you prefer one of those brands, then just let us know. 
Also, uh, today is Kids Day. Mm -hmm. uh, Kids Day in the Central Valley in California is our chance to support Valley Children's Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the one that's up in Madera County now. It used to be in Fresno, mm -hmm. but the, somebody donated a bunch of land by the uh, San Joaquin River. And I don't know, uh, we have older kids now, and you got a little one, but um, I don't know anybody that has not had their life impacted by that hospital. My daughter had to go there by ambulance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When uh, Catherine here broke her back, mm -hmm. uh, she went up there for two weeks. Yep. Roughest two weeks of my life, but those people sure made it nice. Mm -hmm. And so what they do is they take the newspaper, the Fresno Bee out. Uh, every street corner out here has got somebody wearing an orange vest today. And they're selling, how much is it? How much a is dollar. it, Jen? A dollar. a dollar. A dollar. Just a dollar for the newspaper for today. Mm -hmm. And you give them a dollar, they come back, and uh, it's got advertising for the kids and stuff. And all that money goes back to the hospital to help run that uh, that hospital up there on the hill. Uh, they are amazing when it comes to kids. Mm -hmm. And if you do have a chance, uh, uh, buy a newspaper, give it anywhere you, any way you can to that, to that organization. Free pancakes, too, at IHOP. Today? Mm -hmm. All you have to do is, or they would like you to donate to either St. Jude's, Valley Children's. They have a list of things you can donate to, but it's free pancakes. Well, thank you for watching King's Gun Center TV today. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we should have a stack of uh, pancakes right here. Uh, oh, tomorrow's a very special day because we have a new store opening, and I hope to have uh, some grub for us in the morning when we're here at our morning coffee. It, it won't be Wednesday. Burritos? Burritos. Uh, we're going to take a break from Burrito Wednesday. It's going to be... Uh, well, darn it, we'll talk about it tomorrow when you, yeah. when you see it there. Uh, <laughs> uh, Friends of NRA, we're going to get this thing done yet. Uh, Saturday the 8th of April, our, one of our trainers is running the, uh, Victor, he's running the NRA show this year. Uh, looks like they do have a four gun plus safe drawing for $20 a ticket. Only 500 tickets are going to be sold for this whole auction. Uh, you can go by the store and pick up this here. You can buy tickets from the store or you can send it in here with your uh, credit card number and they can get it all taken care of for you. But it is the April the 8th mm -hmm. in Lemoore at Trinity Hall on Champion Street. It's the Friends of NRA annual banquet dinner. Come on down here, and they would love to be able to uh, get you there to go to the great food, great fun, and lots of great, great guns. They're starting to show up now. All the guns are showing up right now. And then we're going to have a special little presentation of coffee sessions with me and him coming up in about a week and a half. It might be a little day delayed, but we're going to be out at the Red Rock Canyon National Park in California. It's beautiful. With some of our camping and survival food. And we're going to be talking about how that stuff can help you out when you're camping. And you better make me some coffee over there. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have, a, I, have a, I have a coffee press. Yeah. Uh, uh, did uh, did, did you ever get one of these? I have one, too. I'll bring yeah. mine. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we're going to be out there camping, and we're going to be going to the CRPA annual meeting at yeah. the USS Iowa, and we're taking our uh, touring motorcycles. So we're going to be going down through Angeles National Forest, Gonna go through Ojai, um, Malibu, down Highway One, do some one driving, and then we're gonna end up. You know, I've lived my entire life in California, never outside of California, all over California, but not outside of California. But I have never been to the Santa Monica Pier. Oh, I've oh. been there. You have? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I Ever been there? Down there. No, I did with my grandparents. Probably not. visiting summertime and stuff. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen the Santa Monica Pier. You know, that's the one that's on all television. It's on all the, mm -hmm. you know, the the, the crime things. Yeah. And uh, remember Fletch? Uh, the, the, mm -hmm. the he was down there doing his stuff under the pier. And um, I, I just like to see it. They have a hamburger place there. I like to try out. Yeah. And then that night we're going to go have dinner on the USS Iowa. Uh, their little annual dinner thing, and hopefully it'll be a, a good night to take some pictures. And maybe we'll get there early and get some pictures of the bikes in front of the ship and yeah. stuff like that. But we're going to be doing a, a, a special edition of this show from Red Rock Canyon in uh, National Park in California. I'm looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that. That's coming up on the after the 18th. We're, our trip is on the 18th, 19th, and 20th. So it'll be soon after that. We'll have it produced up and let you guys uh, let you guys see that. Other than that, anything else? Uh, we got CPR first aid this weekend, don't we? Correct. And we have CCW this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yep. We had a busy, busy, I was look, looking at the schedule, Saturday's going to be a big, big day. It's pretty busy. But we have CC, CCW, CCW Renewals, mm -hmm. CPR First Aid, and a Skill Builder class? Or, or I think a, so. 
I don't remember. So we many. Just, but we have a ton be a of stuff event. going on this weekend. And you can always go to kingsgunscenter.com, go to the training tab, and it'll show all the classes we offer. Mm -hmm. And you can take a look. If there's something that you're interested in, we do have the best trainers in I'd say Cal well, the West Coast, let me put it that way. But we do have some great trainers here, and we hope that uh, you can come in and enjoy what we're doing here at the King's Gun Center. Anything else? Huh? Uh, maybe next Tuesday. We did get some Hera Arms shipment in, so if you're looking for some featureless rifle stuff, we do have a stag Hera Arms if you want to come in and take a look at it. It just came in yesterday. Yeah. We have Thordson stocks back in stock. Thordson's mm -hmm. back in stock, yeah. yeah. And then... Uh, each one has their pluses and minuses, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to be doing a comprehensive review of the different ones on the market today here pretty quick. A friend of ours from San Jose and Mills Beck Armory is going to come down and do that with us. Cool. Be good times. Yeah. Well, guys, have a great week here at, uh, and enjoy yourself. And thank you. Don't forget, you can uh, subscribe right here. And you can look at some of our other videos if you click right here. And don't forget the survey is right here. My gosh, this is getting crazy now, isn't it? <laughs> thank you for watching King's Gun Center TV.